Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Barry K with Cards for Days. Today we're going to continue our look at Topps Chrome by opening this box, this hobby box of 97 Topps Chrome. Uh, if you've seen my first few videos, we looked at 98, we did series 1 and 2, and we also then jumped ahead to 2019. I've got a few of my favorites here in front of me. Um, but today, 97, one of the unique things, I say unique a lot, but uh, when Topps Chrome first came out, it was just a limited number of the, the normal line. So, for example, in 97, there's only 165 cards. And, you know, they pulled out the, the Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famers, All-Stars, etc. So, what are we looking for here? Again, uh, very similar to the other Topps Chrome. You're looking for refractors. They do have inserts. They've got a Season's Best, which is 1 out of 18. All-Stars, 1 out of 24. And Diamond Duos, 1 out of 36. And the refractors are 1 out of 12. So we did pull two refractors out of 98 Series 2. Here's what the box looks like. This is what the packs look like. And it tells you right there the different inserts. And let's just dive right in. So who are we looking for? Uh, honestly, there are a ton of stars and future Hall of Famers. Derek Jeter is probably one that I'm interested in seeing if we can catch. But... Uh, Julio Franco is on top. David Justice, which we pulled in 98. We pulled his uh, refractor there. David Justice, Wade Boggs, and Andres Galarraga. These cards are in much better shape than the first few boxes. No, uh, no sticking at all. So that's a great sign. They're not warped or bent. I watched a video uh, Gore made, and he had a hilarious video about opening 1990 Bowman, uh, and just, it was funny, about talking about the cards being patinaed and, you know, bent corners. So this pack is sticking together. We have Bobby Bonilla, Roger Clemens, and he's one of the good cards. Looks a little off-centered there. Kareem Garcia, Bobby Bonilla. Uh, I'm just hoping I don't find uh, a box of cards like that 90 Bowman. But, uh, let's see what we can find. The first thing I notice about these cards, very similar in design to the previous year. If you take a look at that, what I'm holding in my right hand is the 97. The left, that's 98. So you can see the design is very similar. Uh, so we got Vinny Castilla. Greg Vaughn, Javi Lopez, and Dean Palmer. Kind of a strikeout there. If it was a Javi Baez, I would have been excited, but uh, he was not playing in 96, 97. In the next pack, we got Johnny Damon, and we got our first insert, Eric Young All-Stars. A nice Rockies card. Maybe Darren C. would like that. And look at this Craig Biggio. That is funny. Do you think any Barry Bonds collectors wanted to get their hands on that Craig Biggio card? Ray Langford. That's always interesting. I wonder if the players get to see their cards or have any say in what picture gets used. But if, if I was Biggio, I'd say, I don't want Bonds' back in my picture. His humongous roid-induced back. Luis Castillo. Scott Rowland, Jeff King, and Kevin Apier. One thing I do like is some of the photography on these cards are uh, are pretty nice. You know, action shots, not a lot of them standing around in spring training. I do, I do prefer the action shots that look like they came from a game. Now this pack seems super thin. There are supposed to be four cards per pack. And I did open that sealed. You watched me do it on camera. We do have a super off-centered Todd Walker refractor uh, and a Chipper Jones. So we were supposed to get four. I'm going to set that aside. That is strange. I hope we did not. I mean, I don't think anybody bought a, a box of 97 Topps Chrome 
trying to find anything special in here. And they left the refractor. The, the beautiful off-centered. Let's just take a look at that. If you're doing a percent, what is that? 1090? That is insane. For a high-end product, I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, we got Brett Boone. Again, another good action shot. It doesn't bother me when they turn them sideways. Paul Molitor. Jeff Conine. Bernard Gilkey. And let's see what else we can find. We got a Jermaine Allensworth. I've never heard of him. Yvonne Rodriguez. Eddie Murray. Rondell White. It's always cool to see the Montreal Expos logo. Growing up, they were terrible. So it didn't surprise me when they moved. We got Troy Percival. John Valentin. Trevor Hoffman. Let's take a look at that. His rookie year was 93. Eric Young. Yeah, I don't hear a lot of people talking about collecting Trevor Hoffman. I think he got overshadowed a lot by Mariano being playing at the same time. We got a gold cup of Jermaine Dye. We have another insert, Albert Bell, Bleacher Reachers. Is that what that is? Bleacher Reachers. Let's see. Yep. Season's best. And a big hurt, Frank Thomas. Oh, and check out that Jackie Robinson card. Nice. You see what they a dollar forty five. So again, there's not a lot of value in these cards. I'm gonna set that aside. I like that. Jackie Robinson. I don't know if they just made a lot of it, or if it's because it's not a rookie, but this was the second year that they made Topps Chrome. I still have not found a uh, 96 box yet. I'm going to keep looking. Dennis Eckersley. Will Clark. Just made the uh, Giants. They just retired his number in San Francisco, but there he is in Texas uniform. And Matt Williams. And Ryan Clespo. That's always the worst when a player that's beloved by a team, when you see him in another jersey, it's that's tough. But uh, I think I mentioned Greg Maddox. I loved watching him as a Cub, and then he would, had great success for the Braves and then luckily came back to the Cubs. David Cohn, Devon White, Al Martin, and Alex Fernandez. I'm trying to I'm trying to think of some other players that played for a team and left and then came back. That doesn't seem like it happens very often. Edgar Renteria. We have a John Smoltz, and that looks like a refractor. Let's see if we can pry this up without okay. Uh, AS20. I don't know if that is a refractor or not. But that is a, a great looking card. I don't, does Jonathan H. collect uh, Smoltz? Charles Nagy. Now, guys, look at this. This is from one pack. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. So that makes up, I guess, for the pack that we had with two cards. Um, but that is so strange. really strange. Ray Durham, Marquise Grissom, Jim Edmonds, Rob Nen. Rob Nen. Try to keep moving. Paul O'Neill, Mariano Rivera. Looks like we got a hot Yankees pack. Andres Galarraga, 
and Rusty Greer. I like that, Rivera. I think he is, uh, you know, it was hard to root for the Yankees, but when they were so good, it was fun to watch. I just, it was fun to watch, but I wasn't rooting for him, if that makes sense. Pat Henkin, Eddie Murray, upside down card. We have a checklist right there. So you can see they didn't even bother putting a, a player on it. It is full-on utility right there. We have a highlights, Paul Molitor. 3,000th hit. That is a nice card. Let's look at the back. And my camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. I do like the inserts. I know there's a lot of people who are big on getting autographs with the current stuff. But to me, an insert is just as cool. The fact that a player signed it doesn't mean that much to me. I just like collecting my favorite players. And you can see here at the bottom, we have a refractor under this Gary Sheffield. So let's see. We got Sammy, Sammy Sosa for the Cubs. And let's see if we can... Oh, there's five cards in this pack. That is so strange. Ken Griffey Jr. I think somebody opened this pack and put in some of the star players, maybe. Let's see who's behind our refractor. Rondell White refractor. Mike Musina refractor. And then this Gary Sheffield. Take a look at that. What? Is, I mean, five cards in one pack. Two refractors. Does it say? Let's see if it says on here. Yes, in the top right corner, right there, refractor. I think uh, Jonathan H. collected Musina. Some centering issues, but check that out. In one pack, two refractors. Somebody did break into this box. Oh, oh. This literally feels like there's one card in it. That is amazing. You know, I don't... I kid about them opening. There's no way they resealed these foil packs. But... Let's see what we have inside. Do we have two? Okay, good. Two cards. <laughs> Roberto Alomar, Jose Mesa. That is just so strange. So strange. So not only do we wonder who we're going to get, but we wonder how many we're going to get in each pack. Jose Canseco. And a Diamond Duos, Albert Bell. Albert Bell for the White Sox. Did I not see one in a uh, Indians jersey earlier? And Terry Steinbach. I actually don't even remember Albert Bell on the White Sox, but on the back of the duos, Frank Thomas. I do remember Frank Thomas. Look at that card. That's nice. Okay, we're getting down. We got four packs, five packs to go. Normally that is... 20 cards, but with this box, you never know. We got Daryl Strawberry. Nomar Garcia Parra. That's one of the better cards. Mark Grace. Got a couple cubbies this pack. That is nice. Jeff D'Amico. I like that Mark Grace. It's the first Mark Grace I've pulled from uh, doing this look at Topps Chrome. I've got a few box boxes still uh, lined up already here ready to shoot so I'm looking forward to see how Topps Chrome, Chrome changed over the years Carlos Baerga Dante Bichette not the Bichette we're looking for actually kidding Mike Musina is a regular card that's nice to have a standard card and a refractor so we can compare. Take a look at that. Nice. Let's see if we can find a Fred McGriff. No, I'm just kidding. All right, we got Fred McGriff on top. Got the sticking taken care of. Al Bennis. Kenny Lofton. Ed Sprig. 
Can you tell I'm not an Andy Bennis fan? Two packs down. Rafael Palmero. Todd Hunley. Another Cub, Brian McRae. Jim Edmonds. Last pack. We've uh, found a lot of refractors already, with a lot of inserts. I'm pretty happy with this box. Not happy about getting another Brian McRae on the back here. We have Jason Giambi for the A's. Henry Rodriguez. Eric Young. And our final card we know is Brian McRae. All right. I appreciate everybody watching. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, we got, like I said, we're going to get a lot of All-Stars and Hall of Famers with Chipper Jones, Mike Mussina, Frank Thomas, uh, the Jackie Robinson I hadn't even noticed, and the checklist is real nice. Take a look at that. That's just a cool card. Yeah. So definitely uh, let me know what you think of 97 Tops Chrome. Leave a comment uh, and subscribe if you want to see uh, what's next. We have 1999 coming up next. Thanks for watching. Take care.